What is going on, family? Welcome back to another quick episode. Right now, we are headed over to the gentleman that I purchased the JK Jeep from, which I still haven't done a video tour of that. I am posting a video today that you'll be seeing tonight or today uh, on a little quick uh, trail ride that we did yesterday for my son's birthday. We went out to uh, Dawson Forest and did a quick ride. So right now, like I said, just heading over to uh, this guy's house to get a signature on the title, which is down there. What happened is that the title was in both of his name and his wife's name, and we only got one signature. I wasn't paying attention, he wasn't paying attention, no big deal. So we are driving over there real quick again, just to check out, uh, not check out anything, to get a signature so that I can transfer ownership and get a, a uh, plate, license plate, on that JK Jeep over to uh, myself and my son. So we are going over, just a quick drive. I also just needed an excuse to get to 500 miles. We're at 444. This will add another 30 miles, I think, to the drive. So whatever I can do to come up with a, uh, a reason to drive. Wow, that's a nice house over there, for sure. We need something like that. I would love to have a three car garage. Some really nice houses around here. I'm taking the back roads because it is right at 5 p.m. As you can see, 547. So it's kind of in the heart of traffic, although with uh, the amount of people that work remotely today, that's not a huge deal. But they're still, I'm in Atlanta, as you guys know, north of Atlanta. So there's still a ton of traffic no matter what. Uh, but anyhow, I just needed an excuse to drive the C8 out and put some more miles. We are thinking about going to SCT. That's, uh, I forget what it stands for. It's a streetcar takeover over at the quarter mile track. Hopefully we'll have enough mileage uh, in this thing to you know, have it broken in. And I'd love to see what we can do. I would love to run some low 11s, maybe, maybe break into the tents. I have not seen that many cars without an added power mod uh, do that. And I would love to be one of the first ones to do it. I have seen videos of PDR, that's the performance uh, data recorder in here with people running tents and you know the PDR is pretty close however I would love a time slip from an actual track that says I ran a 10 even if it's a 10 9 9 9 9 9 so we'll see we'll hope to get some mileage that is next week so a week from today I believe well less than a week because it'll be on the week and I think it's on Friday or Saturday or maybe both days they do test and tune so we'll see we'll, we'll take it out there and see what we can do with this bad boy and hope that we can uh, get a high 10 so let me know what you guys think in the comments if we can do it can we do it can we not do it i don't know we'll see so anyhow we'll keep on driving head out to uh, uh get the signature on the title so we can get the jk all properly turned over in terms of ownership to myself and just a tip for yourself when you're buying a car Make sure you check that. I didn't have the title because he had to uh, pay off the loan real quick and they shipped the title. So I, I didn't even think about somebody else being on the title itself. Uh, but that's definitely a good question. I know when you do a home loan, when you do a lot of things, they always ask, do you have a co-borrower, co-signer? Uh, so anyhow, when he gave me the title the other day, he signed for it. I didn't even pay attention. Uh, the spouse's name is written on the front. I should have double checked, but hey, things happen. And again, it's just a nice excuse to get the C8 out there, so. Well, it's quick and easy. Let me turn this radio down right quick. I don't want a copyright strike. Man, I hate that stuff. Don't understand why you just can't put music and pay them. I understand it's a lot of money for YouTube, but they're making money. I don't care what they say. You guys are making money, YouTube. You can afford to do this. Anyways, got the title signed by the, by the wife, so we're good to go, I hope. Now we can transfer the title from the JK Wrangler, the Jeep. In case you don't know what a JK is, it's the previous gen Jeep. We picked one up and like I said, I gotta give you guys a tour. That thing is loaded to the gills with some amazing mods and just a beautiful, beautiful rig. The guy I bought it from just took so, so good care of it and, and spent quite a bit on that thing. It was not a cheap build, I can tell you that much. I definitely probably wouldn't have spent that kind of money. I don't know, maybe I would have. But yeah, so I gotta give you a full tour of that car so you guys can check it out and let me know what you think about that. Uh, but today you'll see it in tonight's video, like I said, which for me today is gonna be a few days later for you guys. 
uh, but you should be able to get a get a good glimpse i thought about doing something on the trail but we just never got around to it you know sometimes you just want to get out there and enjoy enjoy like this don't want to go too much past 5,000, but i love that sound i love that sound we're close 459 we're close I feel like I should just keep driving around. What do you guys think? And go over the mileage so we can finally feel that I still haven't felt the full power of this thing, what it can do. I've seen plenty of videos of people doing launch control and everything else. Although I was struggling the other day, so I need to practice. I think you I'm in C mode and maybe that's why it didn't work. Uh, so what I'm talking about is you've got over here, the traction control mode from what I've seen in the videos of people showing you how to do launch control, you have to press that button twice. But I think we have to change over to sport mode. I'm in C mode right now. So I'm gonna change, turn this off, although I can just go on the wheel, but I'm gonna go, I think you have to be either in sport or track mode. So that's sport, let me double click this. Traction control off, see that's all it says. It's supposed to be uh, performance one one two there it is competitive mode uh wait a minute so there it is okay so once you're in performance or track mode it looks like uh it'll go to competitive mode so that's good to know that's how you do launch control and then i believe all you have to do is hold the brake and floor the gas and it'll go up to about 3500 rpms I don't know if that's adjustable. I remember in my Camaro, not the Camaro, the Mustang that I had, where you could control launch control, you could set the RPMs. And you know what? I'm not sure if that's something we can do in this one. Uh, so I do need to investigate and uh, figure out if that's something we can adjust or if it's automatically go to uh, 3,500 RPMs. Now, this is for the Z51. I saw a video of a guy talking about how you do this. Uh, and he said that the Z51 you do it one way for the other ones you do it a different way I'm not sure if that's true or not just going based on what I saw so we'll test it out either way now one of the things I really like about this is the tiles how you can change the tiles anywhere you like or pretty much put anything you like on there all right so if I go to info tile selection those are the two little tiles the only way you get four info tiles, I think I mentioned that in another video, is if you go to uh, track mode, it'll by default have four tiles. Every other mode, you only get two, which is kind of a bummer, because the right-hand side, if I exit out of here, uh, you've got, you know, you can do maintenance, the radio, you can do a performance timer, but it would have been nice to use Chevy, so if you guys are watching or listening, I doubt it, but it would be nice if you guys put in the option maybe you can do an OTA over the air uh, uh, update you know uh, and uh, would be nice to be able to use the right hand side for more tiles on there I would love to be in sport mode or touring mode and have four tiles as opposed to the performance or any of the other windows on there um, you wouldn't be using that all the time you know and the radio is already here so I don't know why I need another tile with the radio better get over there's some cars turning left. Crazy how many people turn left here in both directions. And uh, boy, I really lucked out in traffic. I got over here pretty quickly. So there wasn't a ton of traffic. But yeah, Chevy, I would love the option to have four tiles on there would be really cool because there's some really helpful stuff like the LSD coupling, the transmission temperature would be nice. But I also like watching oil pressure and oil temperature that's something that I've always liked. I did that in the Viper. Luckily, that had ste the steam gauges or whatever you call them, the analog gauges, although it didn't help me much when that motor popped. But I was always keeping an eye on oil pressure, oil temps, uh, so that would be nice on here as well. This is a nice little road that I love. Let me put it in. Uh... I love how you can downshift with your leg if you're not paying attention little tracky mode it is wet over here so
need one. It is so crazy stiff in track mode. That's what she said. Man, I mean, I'm talking, I don't know if, uh, <laughs> it's pretty unbearable. It's just, it's hoppy. The steering is super tight. Uh, brakes, I think, are a little aggressive, but that's what you want, obviously, on the track. I was working on the HUD rotation. I don't know if you guys can see the HUD from here, but I don't know what I pressed, but it turned completely sideways on me, and that's something you can adjust. So when you're leaning at the track, I guess, some folks want to be able to see as they turn. I don't know how that works, but can adjust the rotation which I thought was really cool right now I've got it got it pretty flat pretty dialed in I don't know what those tiles are man it just it's so incredible how easily you can toss this bad boy around All right, everybody, thanks for watching. That is gonna do it for today's episode. This was just a quick one. Like I said, I just needed an excuse to go drive and grab the title, get the extra signature on there, and uh, that's it. But I uh, hope you enjoyed. Give us a follow, leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, please, if you like this video, if you'd like to see more content, same thing. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.